All right. Um, we've reached the point of the uh, meeting where it's time for the council-initiated discussion. And um, again, I think you know the drill here. We've been in charge of the agenda up until now, and this is your opportunity to raise issues with us, bring issues to our attention, or maybe um, plant the idea of reports or information you'd like us to bring back to you at a future council meeting. Floor is open. I remember one thing from the last one was a presentation on the R01 portfolio, just to put that in context of everything else. So that uh, was was one of Jeff's slides. Went through pretty quickly. Um, I don't know if you were looking for something more comprehensive than that. Yeah, there were there were a lot of slides there, Dee. <laughs> I think, yes, you were looking for something more than that. <laughs> I missed it somehow. I mean, I saw where it was broken down, like how things were categorized, and that included our ones and everything. But I, that, that was, was a snapshot of one year. I don't know, Jeff, if I you want to come to a microphone, was. but that was the unsolicited. He had a couple of slides about unsolicited. I mean, that's, that's synonymous with R01 pool. Well, I think what we what we remembered was wanting you wanting to get some understanding of how it distributed, distributed across, across the, right. the domains, but maybe there was something more subtle that you were looking for, or more detailed. Can I go back and look at what okay. goes there okay. and okay. see if there's something missing? Any things uh, you, uh, just, uh, for future open session presentations? You know, we have our list of things that we think you might want to hear about other people, other topics at NIH. Are there any things that you're curious? And I, I can't make any promises because it's always got to see what the how packed in the September Council schedule is. But either September, February, yeah. Or. Uh, two things that are very unlinked. Um, one is the an update from Jeff or someone on our what what are what is the technology development that is happening that is needed you know a, kind of a state of the art in terms of the the genomic technology aspects um and then a, a second that's very unrelated we have you have a new director of the genomes and society yeah. or whatever the division Larry Brody. Yeah. yeah um that we really haven't heard yeah. what his vision is I where it's going we're go, planning so, for that for yeah. september if I remember that we sort of have that pencil then i think larry thinks that's the case too larry are you back there yes larry september we had said right Something like that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, good point. So in September, we're going to have a report from the Genomic Society Working Group. So that we maybe we will couple that with Larry presenting some things and so you can hear from him and get a chance to talk to him more. I think we'd even uh, kicked around the idea of maybe a research presentation from an LC yep. investigator to yep. the council. So you're, I, you, by the way, you're just trying to make up for your uh, anti lc comment before so you're asking. <laughs> yeah, no, I was hoping Brody. you'd have it after September because I go off council. In oh, no, no. So. <laughs> <laughs> just joking there. <laughs> Sorry. Janita. So, so um, I've been really excited to hear about all of the different initiatives across the board, and I just wondered if there were, if it would be possible to get from each one of those um, initiatives an example of. Um, where the sequencing or the technology has made a difference in a clinical outcome? I mean, like, like a couple of examples. I mean, I'm just, I, I've heard about CSER, I've heard about Ignite, I've heard about Emerge, and I'm just wondering sort of what the examples are. You're talking about, you're talking about a, like a case study? What it would look like, but that sounds right. Okay. Uh, and Howard, were you talking technology? Were you talking about sequencing technology or broader? Everything? Well, I, I, I was, I, I, uh, I was thinking tech, uh, sequencing technology, but I didn't say it that way because there might be some amazing things that they're coming down that I just don't know about. The the, you know, what's next for the thousand dollar genome committee? I mean, is it? Is it down to go down to a hundred, or is it yeah. do more for a thousand, or you know, okay? 
the discussion in the last council about the need for more functional assays, and so that would be something that would feed into the whole technology part as well. Yeah, I was leaving it to Jeff or whoever the is the lead technocrat, but. All right, anything else? Well, you know where to find us if something occurs to you. All right, just a couple more things for the open session then. Um, item of in interest, we have three reports from our uh, liaison societies, ASHG, Genetic Alliance, and Society of Genetic Counselors. These are um, lists of recent activities and items of interest from those societies. They're attached to the um, open session agenda, and they're in the ECB if you want to look at those. And at this point, I'm required to read the conflict of interest statement. This applies to the applications that you will review in the closed session. You must leave the meeting room when applications submitted by your own organization are being individually discussed. In the case of state higher education or other systems with multiple campuses geographically separated, own organization is intended to mean the entire system, except where a determination has been made that the components are separate organizations for the purpose of conflict of interest. You should avoid situations that could give rise to charges of conflict of interest, where, whether real or apparent. For example, you should not participate in the deliberations and actions on any application from or involving your spouse or child or recent student, recent teacher, a professional collaborator with whom you have worked closely, a close personal friend or a scientist with whom you have had long-standing scientific or personal differences. The NHGRI staff will determine the appropriate action based on recency, frequency, and strengths of such associations or interests, either positive or negative, and will instruct you accordingly. In council actions in which you vote on a block of applications without discussing any individual one, the on-block action, your vote will not apply to any application from an institution fulfilling the criteria noted above. Uh, in your folders, there should be a hard copy COI form. Please sign it, and we'll collect it from you at some point. And with that, the open session is ended, and you can gavel us to close. Thank you, everyone. So um, we'll uh, give the uh, IT staff a chance to take down the cameras, and we'll reconvene in closed session in about 10 or 15 minutes. So don't go far. <laughs>